it's really important to take as much time as you need to get that on where you want it because everything after it is going to follow that first plank. So if you have a whoop de do in that first plank, it's going to repeat itself all the way up. So uh, you know, we'll spend a fair bit of time getting it on, make sure it's where we want it, make sure it's a fair curve, make sure that we're level both sides with the first two. Once that's on there, then it's just like doing hardwood flooring. It's just one piece fits the last piece and mm -hmm. just go and go. If you're uh, working on this on your own, you want to find the middle. The easy way to do it is to balance it, let it go. Okay, so I would say this is another plank, so we put that over zero, and then we'll get stapling to the center station. And then we're going to work out to the ends, stapling at every second station. And the reason for that is, if we were to fasten it at each one, you tend to get a twitchy line. But if you leave some space, then you, you let the plank find a fair line in between. Then you come back when you're happy with it and put that staple in. It just makes it a whole lot easier and it's easier getting the fair curve. Mm -hmm. So the best view is down low. So your eye, you know, if you get down so your eye can follow the edge of this plane. So when I'm here, I can see part way down the first five, six feet. And I like that. So I'm gonna move my body out this way, allowing my I to follow around the curve of the middle of the boat looking down at the bottom. What I was seeing was there was just a little bit of a rise here. Not very much. Your eye is a really powerful tool, even though you have not done this before, your eye's going to tell you when things are wrong. It might not tell you when it's right, but you get a feeling when things are wrong, and then you stop and you ask the question, why doesn't this feel right? If you take your time to cut this really accurate so that the end of the plank is cut perpendicular to the center line, uh, uh, we glued up that outside stem the same time we did the inside stem so we know that it should fit. But we would have to get everything out of the way in order to get that to fit. So if you cut these sloppy, it means you've got to work that down with the plane. If you can make every cut accurate, you save all that fighting of that end grain down. You're not taking the chance of making it not fit. You're just kind of putting them back together. If you cut this just a little bit long, the next cut, the saw gets held out that much. And so they get progressively longer and longer. So the problem gets worse and worse as you go. But if you start right, then you save all that angst and extra time and screwing around and possible bad fit between there. So you know, if you lay the blade against the stem, I'm looking at the face of the blade and in my peripheral vision I'm seeing the end of the box. 
So if this is parallel to the end of the box, then I know that this is going to be cut square. Um, if you haven't used these saws before, uh, it's a Japanese pattern, cuts on the pull straw. Whereas American <coughs> stuff cuts on the push. You get to get your head around it, but these are really the way to go because it's a fine cut. Because the pulls cuts on the pull, this blade can be thin. If you were pushing on, this blade has to be thick so it didn't buckle. As you make the cut, ease off the pressure on the saw as you get to the outside because you don't want to break a chip off of the outside. So I hold my finger over it and it's gotten real easy. Because my fingers there, I know I'm not going to cut you off. <laughs> and it comes off and nice and clean. As soon as you cut it, put the spring clamp back on and that will keep the pressure on there. Then when we put the other side on, we'll begin eyeballing it, but we will use a level across from one side one. with the other. Right. And probably the big reason for that is when you put it on top <coughs> of the car, you want to sit in four points. So if one side of the board is a different curve than the other, you're going to be sitting in three points. I think there's one that ended the hair off. Is good? Actually, that's good. Cool. Okay. Later down.